working a this is basic electronics episode 15 and this week I have a project for kind of a personal problem of mine so I'll give you the background I work at a local grocery store I'm not going to say the name for several reasons but I'm not going to go into details but basically I push in since I'm pretty new there I bag groceries and I push in shopping carts from the parking lot so where I push the carts is there's this long tunnel like this and three rows of carts fit in there and then there's a certain line that's supposed to be pushed up to or a certain place now this is about 50 feet and it's very hard to tell from the back when it's full of carts which it's which unless it's really busy it's full almost all the way back here so there's a decent 45 foot tunnel and you can't see how far it's pushed up you're supposed to push it up to the certain line and you can't tell so I, I took it as a personal challenge I know they're not going to implement this but what I wanted to think is there a way that I could tell when they get pushed up to a certain line so I know how exactly I'm going to do it. I'm going to time lapse me building it and trying to figure it out. And then I'll drop the schematic and post it. So, um, I'm going to give you a little more of a background than I normally do to my projects. This is how I come up with most of the projects for basic electronics. Um, I usually go off of schematics and then sort of show them. But this is an actual build, so this is different. Usually I brainstorm ideas. I actually know exactly how I'm going to do this. So I'm thinking laser. Is there a way I could use a laser beam and like a simple comparator circuit to tell if the beam is hitting like a photo cell or a uh, maybe a photo transistor and then have a green LED or something that would light up when the beam is broken. So it should be a fairly simple circuit and uh, I'll time lapse me building it now and so you'll be able to see the process that I go through when designing electronics and really now that I look back at the camera you couldn't see my scribbles up there but I was brainstorming and see how there's that line right there that's like the line I have to push the carts up to so I am now going to do a time lapse of me building a circuit. So, I just finished. That took about uh, 10 minutes, I would say. So, I changed my mind. I was going to use compare uh, use a comparator and uh, light levels and stuff, but then I figured why overcomplicate it and I basically built a simple dark activated switch using a transistor and a uh, photo cell. Um, I thought about using a photo transistor but I already had a circuit that did that so that was easy enough. So I'm going to demonstrate my circuit. I'm just going to set it up to make sure you can see it. I'll actually turn off the lights for a better effect because there is a LED and there's also a laser. You will not probably be able to see the laser, but so laser. And then when the laser, um, this would be a permanent structure, of course. The laser hits the LED. It turn it's off. So when I push the cards forward, I'm trying to do this all while holding the laser. I think you can see it. Let's see how the laser would be hitting it, but the uh, cart blocks it. That's basically what this circuit does. It detects whether the laser is hitting the photocell or not. Laser is hitting the photocell, push the cart forward. 
Now, ideally, what I would do for a next step, if I was going to actually implement this in the business, is I would have a second one that would tell you if you pushed it too far. Because if you push it too far, it's right by the entrance, and people wouldn't be able to walk through. So, that would be a second thing. And I, another thing that would maybe make it easier to understand or see would have a red LED when the laser path is still good, and when it's broken, then it would turn green. That would be another thing. But, that's how I basically find a solution to a simple problem like that. Um, this is a laser. Let's see, what am I going to name this? I have to name my projects. All my projects have to have a name. So, um, I think I'm going to name this the, uh, laser cart detector or something like that. Seems like a good name. And if you're wondering what this is, this is a model car that I built. It's a 1966 Mustang. So, that's going to do it for Basic Electronics Episode 15, Laser Cart Detector. Or, uh, you know, I'm going to la name it Laser uh, Motion Detector or something like that. Or Motion Brake Beam, de or Laser Brake Beam Detector. There we go. So, that's going to do it for this week. I will post a schematic for this somewhere in the video. You will have seen it by now, if you didn't skip over any parts. So, that's going to do it for Basic Electronics, episode 15. Hope to see you in the future with more videos.